What is going on everyone? Chris with Journos Comics and Pop Culture. I got a short box here. I just came back from taking a trip to the A1 Comics Warehouse, which is right down the street from the A1 Comics Sacramento location. And they were having a massive sale today. Fill up a short box for a hundred bucks. So I stuffed one full. Uh, I took some out because I got some for my kids and they bum rushed the box. So, uh, but I'm gonna go through some stuff I got here and give you guys a little information. By the way, I love my Disney books, if you didn't know. These sales at the warehouse are once a month, but they are usually dollar sales. Now, if you guys saw my little live stream that I did on Instagram, you guys would see that they have a ton and ton of short boxes and long boxes uh, to choose from for dollar books. They, every time there's a sell there, they come out and they replenish the boxes. Um, I got there late. I got there like four hours after they opened. So even though I got some really cool stuff, um, I, I know that a ton of stuff was, uh, was taken, you know, before I got there. Cause I've hit a couple of these sales up right when they open at 8 AM and come out with, you know, even more amazing stuff. So, but the fill the the box up for a hundred bucks was an amazing deal. Uh, Bronze Age, Brave and the Bold to fill up my collection. Detective and Batman books are always awesome, e even from the nineties. So, um, yeah. So I was talking to the guys, and they're looking to do next month. So every Saturday, every first Saturday of the month, they always do the warehouse sale. And like I said, it's usually one dollar a book. And they have other deals going on. They got toys. They got wall books, like ten dollars off graded, or excuse me, ten percent off graded keys, fifty percent off back issues. They always have other stuff going on as well. But they're looking to probably do another fill a short box for hundred bucks for the month of January. So that most likely will be the first Saturday in January. So I'll, I'll let you guys know because I'll probably be headed up there again, but I'll definitely be, I'll be sharing their stuff on Instagram if they, whenever they post it. So got some Thor annuals. You know, it's, it's cool because I just recently finished my Thor run, my volume one run. So adding annuals is, is like big now, you know, right? Because annuals are, are part of the run. Got some newer stuff, uh, some Batman stuff. Avenger stuff, Green Lantern, some Bronze Age, Bronze and Copper Age, Green Lantern, some Bronze Avengers, uh, got a few Supergirl books, some Bronze and Copper uh, Justice League, to fill some Justice Justice League holes, mostly DC, I think probably a, a lot of the Marvel stuff gets taken uh, pretty quick, and I know, because that's what I usually go for when I get there, of course it, there is some Marvel, so some awesome Bronze Age Conan stuff. Iron Man, here's some more Justice League. But it's really cool because I've been trying to fill more holes in kind of my legacy uh, DC runs like Batman, Justice League, Detective, etc. Howard the Duck. Always grabbing me some Warlock. Who saw the Guardians 3, uh, Volume 3 trailer with our first look at Will. What's his last name? Portier. Can't say his last name right. This was really cool. I've never seen anything like this before. This must have been some type of maybe special release that came with something. Again, like I said, lots of Batman stuff. Love, love these uh, the new Exile uh, covers. Batman detectives. Uh, not much Spider Man, but I grabbed a couple. Legion, some Strange Tales, West Coast Avengers, West Coast Avengers. Infinite Crusade, some more detective stuff here, more Brave and the Bold, Muppet Babies, man. Now that's my jam right there. Muppet Babies, that was the show. Alpha Fly, Jojo Yearbook. Look at that cover, that's beautiful. Nice. Uh, some more Supergirl. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Not Brand Eck. Am I saying that right? Etch. Number two. So some Silver Age. But it's definitely beat up and worn, but I don't care. I own it. Some Marvel team up, more Supergirl. 
a few ROMs, and some more uh, Disney Uncle Scrooge stuff. I really love collecting this, especially the 80s and early 90s uh, Disney stuff, like DuckTales and Uncle Scrooge, etc., Mickey Mouse. Some more Justice League, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I was going after. And there are some early bronze uh, War Mags, Avengers, huh, some uh, Rob, Rob doing his thing. Uh, a couple X-Men books, Avengers. Uh, we got Jungle Action number two, but this thing is really beat up. Got some rusting and oxidation on the staples as well. But hey, it's still cool. <laughs> Silver Surfer, Fighting Army. Love this cover. Charlton Comics, man. I love some uh, Bronze Age Charlton Comics. Iron Man, Action Comics, Star Wars Adventures. Cap Annual, I got a complete... Um, Cap Volume 1 too, so I don't actually don't know if I have this one, but I grabbed it anyways, right? Silver Surfer, Avengers Annual, uh, some more Conans, a couple more Conans back here. So, yeah, guys, again, um, A1 Comics, they're also having a, a weekend-long sale, but I just decided to hit up the, um, the warehouse. So, guys, if you are in the Northern California area, definitely... First Saturdays of the month, check out A1 Comics Warehouse. Um, like I said, it's just a, a few blocks down from their Sacramento location at 5910 Auburn Boulevard. Make sure you follow them on Instagram as well so you guys know when the next sales are happening. But let me know what you guys think of the books I picked up. Like I said, there was a good stack here. I got um, mostly like some Batman and, and Robin stuff for my kids. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of the pickup. Uh, leave your comments and thoughts below. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please do so. And until next time.